This is my uh, 2019 uh, Ford uh, F-150, and uh, I did kind of a silly thing. Uh, so I've got to pull the uh, Ford bed liner out and uh, get it cleaned up. What I did was uh, I needed some gravel for my uh, retaining wall, and um, I uh, loaded this thing up with, the, with gravel a couple of times because uh, I've got a bed liner, and you know that protects the the bed and everything. What I forgot to do, silly me, was to put in the plugs for the holes in the bed liner. Uh, those are the access holes for the uh, tie-down straps and, and the lights and stuff like that. So those holes filled up with gravel, and they're between the bed and the bed liner. So I'm going to try and pull the bed liner out and uh, uh, clean it up, clean the bed up, and put it back together. Uh, first thing I've got to do is uh, take off my gator cover. So we're going to pull that off, and then we'll get into the, uh, the bed liner. Uh, let me get to you a close-up. I still have a pretty good pile of gravel right here in this hole. Oh, there we go. So this is all gravel, so it's obviously going to be full up to here. When they uh, when they dumped it in here, they they dumped it in at an angle. So most of the, the bulk of it ran from that front corner over to this corner here and then spread out. So I didn't get too much in that hole or over here. Now, I cleaned out most of this, but you can still see there's a piece of gravel floating around in there by uh, picking up the bed liner. And you're able to get your hand in there to scoop some of that out. But look at that mess under there. Because I've got to get the uh, uh, tie-down things, get them removed. So i got to go find my key which I think I left under the seat, the back seat. And we got to get these two push retainers. We got to get those out. Now these aren't pushed in, it looks like, all the way. And from what I could see online, they don't give you a lot of information about how to replace those because they say that they're a one use only. So we're going to go ahead and pull those out and see if they are a one use and see if we can find some sort of a substitute to use. Otherwise, this thing may just to sit here loose. And the keys were in the storage, storage compartment underneath the uh, back seat, so it's where I remembered I put it. Okay, those are out. So in a couple of the uh, other videos, uh, I did see him use this uh, kind of claw thing for popping uh, Christmas tree retainer clips. So I'm going to go ahead and try that. Then one guy finished it up with uh, some side cutters, wire cutters, and another guy, uh, he finished off by just cutting it with a utility knife. A lot of noise, but it ain't coming. There it is. It looks like it's just a standard Christmas tree. Christmas tree. Nothing too fancy about it. So you can see it's tucked right here in this corner. It's already pretty loose. That one came out much easier. Oh. And they all tell you to, to pick it up here in the center and fold it up. So it's a lot easier if you have two people, but I'm going to try it with one. And then unhook one side. And as you lift it, Pull it forward, or pull it rearward, to get one side unclipped, and then just lift it up, and it's out. That was easier than I thought it would be.
scratch, scratch, scratch. So there you can see that pile of gravel in that one corner. So besides the normal scratches from the bed liner rubbing on the paint, now I had introduced all this gravel, which wasn't doing very much good. So I'm going to get the uh, truck out of here, uh, guard a hose and a broom or something. I'm going to get this thing cleaned out. So depending on how you look at it, I'm kind of fortunate to be uh, on the tall side, so I don't have to get into the bed every time. And I apologize, I lost the audio for the uh, rest of the video. But basically the, uh, the reinstall is the reverse of removing it. As you can see, I'm trying to get that passenger front corner um, into the, the front corner and uh, keeping the bed tipped up to get the uh, bed under the passenger bed rail. Then you lay it down and pull up the center of the bed liner to kind of shorten it up and pull that driver's side front corner, pull it away from the front corner, pull it backwards until you can get it tipped up uh, underneath. And you can see it, got it you kind of tip the uh, sidewall of the bed liner uh, sideways to get it underneath the, um, the, um, the sidewall of the bed. And after that, it's just a matter of trying to see if it's, it's kind of seated in position. Banging on the bed liner, it really didn't and doesn't do any good. Uh, it kind of has to lay in place. If you have to, if you think you have to bang on it, then you probably don't have it in the right place and you need to kind of pick it up and jockey it back into position. And as a matter of fact, they, there are some warnings uh, when you are installing the bed liner uh, from other videos that you don't want to bang on it because you could damage the, uh, the aluminum bed uh, railings, uh, especially up towards the top on the, on the railings. And of course, now you've got a little bubble there in the center of the bed liner, uh, but don't worry about that. If, you, if you've got it in the right spot, the bubble's going to be about the same as mine, I would imagine. And that bubble does settle down um, and flatten out over time. Doesn't, doesn't take that long. And in case somebody wanted to find some replacement retaining pins, I did measure the diameter of the fins, uh, not the bullet end, but the fins themselves. And it was about a 15.2 millimeter diameter. And then for reference, I measured the, uh, the hole diameters in the uh, bed uh, for the retaining pins. And I used my uh, socket set uh, as gauge pins. And the diameter of the gauge pin socket that fit the hole was about a 13.8 millimeter. And then uh, press the two retaining pins in by hand and the bed liner is in reinstalled.
and I'll take care of uh, putting the uh, hold downs back in and putting the cover back on. <laughs> Thanks for watching.